डॉक्टर पूनम गुहा वजे आई एम अ पीडियाटिक सर्जन विथ स्पेशल इंटरेस्ट इन पीडियाटिक ब्लैडर प्रॉब्लम्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट यूरोडायनामिक्स यूरोडायनामिक्स इज अ स्पेशल इन्वेस्टिगेशन व्हिच इज मेंट टू एसेस ब्लैडर फंक्शन व्हेन अ पीडियाटिक पीडियाटिशियन और अ यूरोलॉजिस्ट ऑर्डर्स फॉर अ यूरोडायनामिक्स टेस्ट टू बी डन ही इज सस्पेक्टिंग सम एबनॉर्मेलिटी इन द ब्लैडर फंक्शन बिफोर वी टॉक मोर अबाउट यूरोडायनामिक्स वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड अ फ्यू बेसिक पॉइंट्स अबाउट द ब्लैडर फंक्शन bladder the urinary bladder is a, a bla- is a, a balloon like organ which is situated in the lower part of our tummy it acts to store urine when it is storing urine there is a special muscle at the lower part of the urinary bladder called the sphincter uh, which acts as a tap and uh, which regulates the outflow of urine when the urine is being stored in the urinary bladder the sphincter remains closed and the uh, bladder keeps on increasing in size when the bladder is full it sends signal to the uh, brain by by the spinal cord stating that it is full the brain then analyzes whether the conditions are appropriate for the bladder to pass urine if if it is appropriate then the uh, signal is green signal is sent by the spinal cord back to the bladder the uh, tap or the sphincter then opens up and the bladder squeezes out the urine so we see that the proper urinary control actually involves several steps which have to happen in a very orchestrated and organized manner any slightest disturbance in any of these steps can lead to urinary problems or bladder malfunction for example when the bladder is storing urine if the bladder starts squeezing on its own inappropriately then the person will feel urgency to pass urine repeatedly if the tap is remaining open when the bladder is uh, storing urine then the uh, there will be urinary leakage and again if the tap is remaining closed inappropriately when the bladder is trying to pass urine then the uh, person will have a poor urinary flow similarly we come across uh, several urinary problems in children routinely which stem out from these bladder abnormalities for example the commonest problem is bedwetting which we see in children other than that increased frequency of urine infrequent voiding repeated urinary tract infections and poor urinary stream many of these children have got poor self esteem and uh, severe psychological problems because they are being laughed at by the peers they are being scolded by the parents and the teachers because of no fault of their own and uh, in a few of these children because their bladder is behaving abnormally when the urine is being stored the bladder pressures are so high that actually there is a silent and permanent kidney damage that is going on so proper and timely evaluation of these problems is very important urodynamics helps us to measure the bladder function that is when the bladder is storing urine what is the capacity of the bladder and what is the uh, pressures and again when the uh, how efficiently is the bladder emptying when it is passing urine before the urodynamics test is done we order for, we ask for a 48 hour urine uh, voiding diary which the parents are supposed to maintain at home uh, before the urodynamics we need to make sure that the child is not having any urinary tract infection a uh, course of antibiotic has to be started and the bowel needs to be emptied before the urodynamics while doing the urodynamics we insert fine tubes through the urethra into the bladder and through the anus which are connected to the computer and we measure the uh, urinary bladder pressures when the uh, and we infuse uh, we fill the bladder with saline once the bladder is full the child to, uh, is allowed to pass urine the test takes around 15 to 20 minutes uh, when the catheter is being inserted into the bladder the child feels some tingling sensation but otherwise the test is absolutely painless but still because they are children they keep on crying uh, many of the children keep on crying uh, sh- due to sheer anxiety we cannot give anesthesia to the children during the test because under anesthesia the bladder may behave differently and we may miss the usual or the uh, normal bladder picture that is actually present and now after the test the child can resume his normal activities uh, as soon as uh, the test is over uh, the child may have some discomfort in passing urine for a f- first few times after the test because the catheter was inserted and it uh, improves on its own and the antibiotic has to be continued for a few days the test gives us immense information about the bladder function uh, and what is the abnormality in its function depending on the findings of the test uh, your pediatrician or the urologist will take the further action for example uh, medicines need to be pre- prescribed when the when he, when we see that the bladder is uh, squeezing inappropriately at at in, inappropriate times and also there are several other modalities which can be uh, uh, suggested by your uh, practitioner for example uh, behavioral modifications biofeedback or alternative treatment modalities like electrical stimulation thus uh, summarizing about urodynamics that uh, bladder function is a very complex uh, system and any abnormality in the bladder function can lead to urinary abnormality urodynamics is the only test which can measure the bladder function 
and proper and timely assessment of these bladder abnormalities is very important to prevent permanent kidney damage as well as psychological impact on the children. Thank you.